and we back y'all and what we got today we got an underrated team build so these cards are basically just cards that people don't normally use in a game and i just want to show that uh some of these cards are really good and they just don't get the recognition that they deserve so left field we got the 95 ricky anderson 99 in speed 99 in steel gold defense in left even though it's secondary great contact decent power good power against lefties great vision i like that card Vidal Bruja. Now this card, he has been used uh, earlier in the season by a lot of people, but I feel like since um, Ryan Sandberg's really taken over and Robinson Cano, they've really been taking over second base, and that just doesn't leave room for Vidal Bruja anymore. But I still think with 95 speed, 97 steel, 89 fielding, great contact, decent power, good vision, this card is very good. Now we got the face of the franchise, Matt Olson. Diamond defense, amazing power. What more could you ask for? Like. Honestly, this card very, very underrated. Next, we got Mark Reynolds. His power says it all. Look at these stats of the betting. 462 with 9 bombs, 21 RBIs, 18 hits. This card flat out rakes. That's all I can say about this. Next, we got the switch hitter Ian Happ from the Players League. This card, I think the switch hitting capability really brings him over the hump. Uh, that 101 power against righties is great with the 78 against lefties. Amazing secondary positions, good, de e decent defense, good speed. I like this card. Trevor Story, what a goon. Uh, he is up today also against righty, so he's just going to smack both sides, even though he normally does. I'm batting 409, 6 bombs, 17 RBI, 27 hits, and 66 at bats. Um, yeah, great defense, cool defense at shortstop with 83 speed. Kind of rake against both sides. Now we got Chuck Nasty. I know what you're going to say. The defense is a bit sus, I agree with you, but his hitting is just undeniable for an 87 overall face of the franchise. These face of the franchise cards from stage 1 are really, really slept on now. Even in the future search from stage 2, just there's no room for them anymore, but I want to show that these cards are still really, really good. So I'm going to use Chuck Nasty and right. And then we got the um, June 2017 Player of the Month, Mike Zanino, with great power, 87 defense. Great arm, good blocking. I really like this card. I don't, yeah, I'm 0 for 1 with him, but with one walk. So I'm not really 0 for 1. But yeah, so we're going to go Ricky, Vidal, Bruhan, Matt Wilson, Mark Reynolds, Ian Happ, Trevor Story, Chuck Nasty, and uh, Meg Zanino. Then we got some live series players in Scherzer DeGrom. We got the 92 Nolan Ryan from the uh, Houston Astros collection. We got the Players League, Blake Snell, and then we got 99 Smoltz. I feel like 99 Smoltz, everyone thinks he gets lit up, but like, I have very good stats with him. 3.55 ERA with a 1.11 whip. 50 innings, 10-6, 39 strikeouts, 6 walks. I really like this card. I think he actually is very, very good. And for the bullpen, I did not do the bullpen. So, give me one minute. Alright, we're back with the bullpen. So what we got for our righties, we have Adam Adovino, the diamond from the Rockies collection. We got Jason Dittringhausen, the diamond from the Cardinals collection. Gold Roberto Asuno, gold Tommy Canely. You guys know, I love Tommy Canely in my pen, so I'm glad he's here. He's not on a down because he's injured, so he's not going to have any inside edge. And then for our lefties, we got the Players League, Amir Garrett. This was from the player tournament, the four-player tournament, like from a while, a while ago, uh, all the way in the first inning program. And then we got 87 Dan Please so I can 88 Sean Doolittle. These cards don't feel like they, I don't feel like they get used. Normally in my bullpen, I rock out with Tom Hankey, Raleigh Fingers, Edwin Diaz, Fernando Rodney, Josh Hader, uh, Goose Gossage, and Chapman. So I want to switch it up and use these players. All right, so we're gonna hop into a game and we'll see you in the game. All right, we have found our opponent. So we are waiting to load in. And I think we're gonna throw, um, I think I wanna throw Blake Snell. I do, yeah, I want to throw Blake Snell. Alright, so we are the home team. We are playing in Date Palm. This guy is 93 Oswald with 97 Kutch, uh, 97 Belly, 94 Chipper, 99 Larry Walker, 99 Sandberg, Didi, Correa, and 90 Yasmani Grandal behind the plate. Alright, he's probably looking at our team like, what the hell is this guy doing? But little does he know, these cards are going to rake. Alright, so our record 49-19, his record 34-11. We are playing a decently good player, but um, I think we do. We don't, definitely don't have the team advantage, but I think we have the record and skill advantage. So hopefully we could take that into the game and actually cough the dub. So we started him off with a fastball. 
strike one. All right, grounding over to Mark Ryan with a strong throw. One gone. Let's go. 95 fielding for Matt Olson. I don't think he's going to make any errors. The one problem with this Blake Snell that a lot of people, that's why a lot of people don't use him, is his awful control. You can't locate where you want to locate with this card. Oof. Just missed the curveball. And if you guys are wondering, as I said before, um, I am playing events because I find rank seasons way too sweaty. So if you guys were wondering, this is events, yes. And Chuck Nasty made a play in the outfield, so we vibe in. All right, Chipper's a scary at bat just because of what, of what he does to lefties. So let's see what we could do. We're going to try to get it lower, try to get him chasing the dirt, hopefully. We have good blocking behind the plate. There we go. Perfect. Just as I said, we are out of the first inning. Beauty. All right, I'm pretty sure we have Ricky, then Vidal, and then I'm not sure who the third is. Maybe Matt Olson. All right. Roy Oswalt, let's go Ricky! First pitch swing, and we got 99 speed, 99 stealing on the bases. Amazing. Alright, Vidal. Let's see what you could do. You slide step in a fastball. I'm not stealing just yet. Alright, back to back, perfect, perfect singles to start off the game. Let's go. Bases loaded, no outs for the underrated squad. See what we could do. Oh my god. That should have been a grand slam. My bad, boys. All right. He's trying to challenge us with a fastball again. Ah, a bit early on it. Damn. All right. Come on. Check swing. Let's go. No swing. 2-2 two, two count. Come on, Mark. This straight. Ah, I just struck out. Oh, my God. All right. We got Ian Hap up. All right. All right, Ian Happ down the line. Oh, Ian Happ, that's far. Perfect, perfect with 100 power. Doesn't go anywhere, come on. Perfect, perfect with 100 plus power. That's a bit sketch. All right, Trevor Story, he rakes against righties, he rakes against lefties. Gotta get some more runs. Of course, Trevor Story cashes me out. Is that gonna score to a Matt Olson? No, it's not. All right. We got an RBI double from Trevor Story. We got Chuck Nasty up. Now Chuck Nasty, what's he going to do? Ground to the second baseman, and that is the end of the inning. All right, we put up two in the first inning. We put up a very good first inning, though. I think we almost batted around. I think we batted 3-7, to be honest, which is really good. All right, that is a one-run lead now for us. Larry Walker's disgusted, and we're going to warm up the pen. Larry Walker, lefty, lefty yard. All right, we're going to warm up Ottavino, and we're going to warm up Sean Doolittle. All right, so we got Sandberg up. That's ball one. Can't believe Ian Happ didn't hit that out. Like, 100 power, perfect, perfect. That's weird. All right, we're going... Curveball low again. See if he could chase it. He does again. We got great blocking behind the plate. That is an out. Beautiful. All right, we got uh, Didi up. Not prestige. This guy didn't have any prestiges. I'm pretty sure. There we go. That's strike one. All right, we're out of the inning. Only allowing one run on the Larry Walker solo shot. Lefty, lefty. It's all right though, we still have a uh, bottom of the second and then hopefully we could just shut him down on top of the third and don't have to go to the bottom. We got uh, Mike Zanino up, so let's see what Mike could do. All right, 1-1 one, one count, not chasing that 12-6 in the dirt. It just has so much break on it, it's crazy. Oh, come on, I'm getting shafted again. It's a great swing with good timing and PCI, but it doesn't go anywhere. All right, off the bench, I think we're going to rock out with Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh is very underrated. I don't know if I showed you guys the bench. Um, I could go show you it now. So we got Brandon Marsh, Tony Gwynn to hit le um Tony Gwynn to also hit righties. We got Dwight Evans, Nolan Arenado to hit lefties. And then we have Trey Turner off the bench for running. Perfect. Okay. 
That low 12.6. Oh, if I was not early on it, that would have been a moonshot. I bat really well with Brandon Marsh. I, he was my primary center fielder for a long time. Another perfect perfect. What is that up to? Like eight maybe? Okay, maybe not eight, but like five perfect perfects. We're doing really well with this team. That's all I could say. He brings in Rob Nen, the 92, I assume. Okay. He slides up the splitter right on the corner. High curveball, a bit too high. Full count to Ricky Henderson. You don't want to let Ricky on base again. And I strike out looking. That is my bad. Damn it. All right. He threw me a challenge pitch, which he kind of had to. And uh, he won the battle on that. All right. 1-1 one, one count. Moving over. We got... Oh, up the middle again. Vidal Brujan is amazing. He is 2 for 2 on the day. All right. Matt Olson. Let's see if he could go yard. Give us some insurance runs, man. I thought I just had it. Oh, my God. Why am I so early? Oh, I hate that. I'm so early on that. And he walks him again. Two walks in the game for Matt Olson. Bringing up Mark Reynolds with the bases loaded again. I can't strike out again, man. I can't. He brings in 85 Chapman. All right, Mark. Come on. No strikeouts. Let's go, Mark. Out of boy. I'm sending Vidal. I'm sending Vidal. I'm sending Vidal, boys. Let's go. That's what... Let's go. 99 speed, 95 speed, our home. We have the switch hitting bat now. We're up 4-1. to one. Mark Reynolds with the big, big, big 2 RBI single. Now let's see what Ian Happ could do. All right. It's a good pitch. 101. Right on the block. Oof. Just missed the fastball low and in. So we got a 4-1 to lead going into the third inning. Hopefully we got switch lefty-righty. He hits. Honestly, I trust the Autovino more. I really like this Autovino card. Let's go, Autovino. All right. Not the best start to start off, but it's all right. And we walk him. All right. First, hit, uh, first batter that Autovino sees, he walks. Now it brings up Eddie Matthews off the bench. Uh, we're gonna warm up. I'm gonna warm up Isringhausen. I love Isringhausen too. Very good card. Oh my God, Ottavino, do something, man. Two seam low and away. All right, Matt Olson, diamond defense. We're gonna turn that. Beautiful. Trevor Story, great throw. Two gone. Andrew McCutcheon is up. All right, we're going to throw Andrew McCutcheon in the low and away slider. He chases it for strike one. Then a high and in fastball for strike two. All right, strike two. And then we're going to go back to that low and away slider for the punch out. That was not a low and away slider, and he almost hit that gone. All right. Well, he did hit it out, but it was just foul. And strike three. Damn it, man. All right, cutter high from Ottavina on the black, but they don't give me the call. Going back to it again. No, nope, way too high. He went blue. Ring him up. All right. He's working his way to a full count. Just throwing him challenge pitch, change up, missed the spot. All right. We won the game because Mark Reynolds can make every play in the defensive field. And we won the game four to one. We, I'm pretty sure that was my 45th event win too. Blake Snell, player of the game, two innings pitch, one hit, one hit allowed, one run, one earned run, two strikeouts. Obviously, that one hit was the Lair Walker nuke. Um, yeah, that was my forty-five, my forty-fifth event win, which is very good for me. I get that Players League semifinals pack. Five away from Angleton Simmons, gonna sell him off, but let's just go rip this pack and sell whoever we get. So twenty-one, twenty, yeah, all right. So Jeff McNeil, just sell that off right now. All right, that's beautiful, man. So that's going to wrap up the video. If you guys like the video, please drop it a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. It's a very, very easy thing for you to do. and helps me grow so much. We are so close, man, to 300 subs. So if you could get me to 300 subs before... Uh, let's try to get me to 300 subs, honestly, by the end of the week. Maybe, um, 
maybe two weeks, but I want to definitely get 300 subs before Madden 21 comes out because as you guys, I don't know if you guys know if you watched me before Badge Month started. Uh, I was a big Madden 20 uh, grinder. I played Ultimate Team literally every day. But when I quit, I had a 96 overall team, and the 96 overall team at that time was the highest you could get. I make great content in there. I do solos. I do head-to-head. -head, I do um, house rules if that's coming back. I make Superstar KO content. Uh, I'll do uh, all the content that drops in the game just like MLB. I'll do pack openings, all that stuff. So if you guys like that, if you guys are excited for Madden 21 like I am, please drop it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'm out. Peace.